Welcome to Total Mix by RME. How would you like the ability to route your audio channels with the flexibility and ease you would expect from a big studio console within your own digital audio workstation? What if you could then make latency-free submixes for all physical outputs of your audio interface and have your monitoring, talk back and listen back organized simply and effectively. This is what is available with the Total Mix software that comes free with every RME interface package. Let's look deeper into the basic features of Total Mix and get an understanding of how to operate them. The first thing you notice when the mixer window is open is the division of channels into three rows. The first row indicates the incoming signals at the physical input of the interface. Due to the accurate metering, the precise levels are easily read. The second row contains the playback channels from the DAW of choice, and the third row shows the level of the interface output. As an easy option, you can hide any row that is not required by clicking on the corresponding button in the View section. In the Master section, you can save and choose presets, Organize multiple units, switch mono and dim, and choose the headphone mix outputs. The total mix is currently in so called submix mode. By clicking on one of the output pairs, we can now easily see the submix of incoming and playback signals while the other output pairs are now greyed out. In submix mode, it's easy to make a latency-free submix containing incoming audio as well as playback tracks from your DAW. You can now quickly organize and route the monitoring channels for an overdub session and send out personalized cue mixes for various musicians. Here's a demonstration of the practical features Total Mix offers. Let's say we are in the middle of a typical overdub session. The instrumental playback has been tracked and only the lead vocal is left to record. In this case, we will have to make our own control room and personalize headphone mixes for the singer in the vocal booth. The vocal signal is coming in live on channel 1 of the interface and is therefore shown in the first row of the total mix window. The pre-recorded backing tracks are played back by our DAW and we can find them in the second row of the mixer. To create a submix for checking the performance along with the backing tracks in the control room, we have to choose the output connected to our studio monitors and adjust the level. By clicking and holding the control key, the fader jumps back to 0 dB. Now we can easily put our submix together out of input as well as playback tracks. We now want to create a headphone mix for the singer in the recording room. Therefore we choose the output pair connected to our headphone system and route a mix that fulfills the musician's demands. At the headphone output of your interface, you'll have a complete mix of our input and playback tracks that is easily adjusted. To be able to communicate with the singer in the recording booth, you'll need a talkback connection. This is easily done with Total Mix. Open the preference window and choose the channel you want to use for talkback.
you can adjust how much the monitoring signal should be lowered when TalkBack is activated. In the Preferences dialog, you can also route a listen back, adjust the dim level for master mix, or choose a MIDI controller, like a Mackey control, to control the basic features of Total Mix. You can even adjust the behaviour of the pan pots to your preference. Even if you are only using the basic features of Total Mix, it is the ideal monitoring, routing and submix solution for Mac or PC-based digital audio systems. For more information about Total Mix, please have a look at the user manual of your RME interface or visit the tech infos on the RME website.